Joining us now from Portland are Kyron's parents, Desiree Young and Kane Horman. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Desiree, three weeks now since your little boy went missing. What has this time been like for you? I can't even put it into words. It's terrible. Um, every day that goes by, I uh, just want Kyron home. It's been too long. We see these, these beautiful pictures of him, such a, such a sweet face. Cain, tell us a little bit about your son. What kind of a, what kind of a little guy is he? He's, he's amazing. He's kind and warm and gentle. He's, uh, he's very loving. Um, he's smart. Uh, he likes to have fun, good sense of humor, just loves to laugh. Um, just just a, a wonderful son. And, and what happened, Kane, on that last morning that, that you saw your son? Um, from the, uh, when I saw him that morning, um, I was on my way to work and uh, he and I uh, talked out in our front yard. He was uh, out feeding our cat, uh, heading back inside and uh, just gave each other a big hug, told him to have a great day at the science fair with his project, uh, that I was proud of him for all the, the effort and just the amazing project that he put together and to, to just have a wonderful day. There have been some questions raised about your wife, Terry, um, and her involvement in your son's disappearance. Uh, a questionnaire was sent out by police mentioning her. Do you believe that the police suspect her in some way in your son's disappearance? Um, I believe she's committed, as, as the rest of our family is, to finding Kyron. Yes. And uh, any other um, information regarding that is, is uh, the investigators are working with her and with us to, to help find him. So um, I don't really have any other comment on that. Mm -hmm. Desiree, there, there's been a lot of question about why uh, you and, and your ex-husband haven't come forward before, come forward more to, to speak out to the media. Why have you waited until now? Because it was very important to the family, all of us, that we keep the focus on Kyron. And uh, by staying a little bit more reserved in the media, that helped keep the, fi the focus on Kyron so that we could get his picture out there and get everything about him out there. Mm -hmm. and, and coming forward now, what are you hoping uh, this will bring for you? I'm hoping that it'll bring us to the end, that Kyron will come home and, you know, it's been three weeks now and, and we never thought in a million years on Friday, June 4th, that we would ever get to this point. Is there anything you'd like to say if Kyron is watching somewhere this morning, uh, both Desiree and Kane, I'll let you go first, Desiree, to your son? Uh, that we love you and we need you home and we miss you very much. Yeah, Kyron, uh, you're the you're the son that all all dads hope for, and we we miss you and love you so much, and we just want you home. We wish you the very best, and we are all hoping for a good ending here. Desiree Young, Kane Horman, thank you for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. A lot happens early on the early show. Weekday mornings on CBS.